everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. It is uh, Friday the 5th of September. Now, as you can see, uh, just getting ready here for weather school, which takes place tomorrow. Uh, it's an aviation weather school, so it's for pilots. If you haven't been along yet and you are a pilot, come along. It's great fun. We do them for uh, sailors as well. We do one for farmers and we do a weather school uh, for TV presenters as well. People who want to be TV weather forecasters. Have a look at... Uh, weatherschool.co.uk, all the information is there. Okay, plug over. Um, I did say yesterday that I'd go through in more detail uh, the long ranges, um, but uh, things have kind of run away with me a little bit today. We've been very, very busy, so uh, I have to apologize for that. I'll try and do more on that tomorrow, but just wanted to give you an update as to where we are. This high pressure that we've got at the moment looks like it's gonna be dominating into uh, next week. Um, got a weak cold front that's moving southwards overnight tonight into the early part of Saturday morning. Not got much on it, just a few bits of uh, light rain on there, but uh, I don't think that's going to amount to very much. That clears away Saturday, introduces cooler conditions, and then the high pressure builds in. Maybe some showers across eastern Scotland, eastern parts of England into Sunday, but I think most areas becoming drier on Sunday and brighter. Some cloud across southern parts of England as well. And then into next week, that high is still there. It's the dominant feature through the course of next week. It's still going to be there, and looks as if it brings some pretty fair conditions, I think, through next week for most of us but dry too however big question mark is over what happens at the end of next week because it does look as if um, things do start to be turning a little bit more mixed I think there could be some showers around some of those fairly heavy at times as well and uh, I think we may well be going into a more mixed si uh, period as we head into the middle part of uh, September but of course I'll keep you informed on that over the next few days but certainly I think that middle part of September looks a bit more mixed but I do think pressure builds again at the end of the month. I'll give you more information on that tomorrow and over the next few days but I just wanted to uh, get this updating to you. Right back to getting set up for weather school 